Welcome back to the channel. Today is the first day of the Power BI Beginner Series. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like the information that you're getting out of this, please click like on the videos that you find interesting. Your feedback will determine how much past January of 2022 I continue to do this type of video. Today's topic is what type of account can I use when getting started with Power BI? The important thing to remember with this is that Power BI is a business intelligence tool. The key word here being business. You must use an account that is targeted for business purposes. Now, what do I mean by that, you may ask? That is a great question. Microsoft has two types of authentication. The first one is a Microsoft account. Really intuitive name, right? Oftentimes you'll hear this referred to as a Microsoft consumer account. This is a personal account and it can be bound to any email. Use this account for personal kinds of things like Xbox.com accounts, family safety accounts, OneDrive personal accounts, and you know, lots of other things it used to be used oftentimes for Skype. And now I believe it is Teams for personal. I don't actually remember the name of it. I always call it Teams for pleasure. And also Outlook.com or if you're old school, Hotmail.com accounts. For more information about this type of account, you can go out to account.microsoft.com forward slash account and find out all the details about it. With that said, you cannot use this type of account with Power BI. It's super useful for all these other things, but not for Power BI. It is a personal account and you need to use a business account. So the other type of account that you have in the Microsoft ecosystem is an Azure Active Directory account or Azure AD, which is what you'll oftentimes hear it called. This is used to back the suite of Microsoft products for business like Microsoft 365, Microsoft's Dynamics 365, Power BI, Azure. All of these types of things are backed using an Azure AD account. Now I get asked at every conference that I go to, why did Microsoft make this choice? Why can't I use a Microsoft consumer account to be able to do Power BI? And the reality of this is, is that it is truly a business intelligence tool meant for business. So you should be using an account that has access to a corpus of data like Microsoft Azure or Dynamics 365 and you know, all the Dataverse that's back in that or the Microsoft Graph and Microsoft 365. Those are some of the places that you're going to want to be able to access data from as well as many other places, but you really don't want to be using a personal account for those kinds of things. Since you're just getting started on your Power BI journey, it's a safe assumption that you likely have a an Azure AD account already through your work. If you're not sure if you do or not, what you can do is you can go out to www.office.com and go log in. If you log in successfully, guess what? You have an Azure AD account. If you don't, then you don't. Now, I frequently get the question, Jason, I don't have any Azure AD accounts. How do I get started? Well, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna walk you through setting up a Microsoft 365 developer tenant. And using that, it gives you an Azure AD account and actually gives you licensing for Power BI as a trial for 90 days. So be sure to come back tomorrow, check out that video where I'm gonna do a detailed walkthrough of how you set that up and lots of other cool stuff under the hood there. But all we're really gonna work on tomorrow is getting it set up and be able to log in to powerbi.com. So have a great day and I hope this was helpful. The music for the Bible podcast is indie run by Scott Holmes and shared in the comments.